Hello Aquarius and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is going to be your next 48 for August 26th and August 27th, you versus them. Um, guys, if you are currently a subscriber of mine, I just want to thank you so much for all the love and the support that you have shown my channel. Um, if you are not currently subs subscribed, subscribe, listen to me, um, please be sure to click that red subscribe button. I choose uh, winners every single month uh, for free readings. For the month of September, I'm going to be choosing um, four winners, one for a 30-minute love reading, and three winners to have a 15-minute reading done. Um, the winners for August have already been announced, so that will be um, in your September 2019 love reading. I don't believe I've done Aquarius's yet. That will be coming out in the next few days, so guys, keep an eye out. Um, for that reading because they're good. I'm going to be announcing the winners in that reading. Okay. Um, I am taking personal readings right now and um, you can find my information in the description box below if you would like to book me for a personal reading. It is $10 off your first reading with me right now. The, de uh, the deck that we're going to be using today is um, the True Lovers Tarot. Beautiful deck. It is number 53 in the description box below. There is an Amazon link in case you guys are interested in purchasing. guys I'm trying to meditate on the cards as I'm talking to you um, and guys you know how this works if it resonates great um, if it does not resonate then this is just not your message okay So Aquarius, I'm going to be reading your side here. Let me just lower this so that you can see all the cards. I'll be reading you here, your person here. You can flip it, twist it, reverse it, whatever way works for you. Okay, it's a general reading. Um, so Aquarius, starting with you, we have this could be the one you've already met, the part, the romantic partner that you seek. So Aquarius, I feel like, um, you know, your, the, your person is, is someone that you've been searching for for a long time and you feel like this could be the one. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy. I feel like you're going to have a very flirtatious energy for the next couple of days, uh, making people laugh, being silly. You're an Aquarius. That's what you do best, okay? Um, we have the Two of Cups here. So I feel like this could be a soulmate connection, very deep commitment. You guys may be deciding to move in together. Um, there may be a marriage proposal. Um, but with the Seven of uh, Cups here, I'm showing that you might be putting up a little bit of an illusion here, Aquarius. You might be lying. You might be faking. So I feel like you may be telling your person that they're the one. I feel like you're flirting, making them laugh. I feel like you're promising commitment to this person, but um, it's an illusion. It's an illusion that's going to end up causing a tower moment. Um, this is going to end up coming crashing down, guys. Yeah, so, well, that started off really good, <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like you're telling this person one thing, but ultimately it's an illusion. Um, I feel with the sun here that, you know, you would be happiest with this ending and starting a new beginning. So you're, you're acting one way, but on the inside you feel another way, Aquarius, okay? So you're acting one way, and on the inside you're feeling another way. Now, your person, we have healing family issues, your love life benefits by forgiving your parents. So I feel like your person may be um, going through issues with their parents. Maybe their parents don't want them with you, or they may, have, may be having some issues with family right now. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Your person may be addicted to drugs, addicted to drinking, having a sexual addiction. Um, there's so many different things, but your person has a vice that's really affecting your relationship right now. 
Aquarius. We have the Queen of Shells here. So we could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here also. We've got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Um, so I feel like <clears throat> your person, Aquarius, um, they're very traditional. They want marriage. They want emotion here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, luck is on their side. They're, they're going to... Um, you know, they're going to get what they want, okay, whether it's with you or without you, because here we have the, the Six of Pentacles. This is a very kind, giving, and loving person. This is someone that's giving you everything, okay, or they're, they're wanting to give you everything, and with the um, Two of Coins here, I feel like they're very undecided. They're juggling as to whether or not um, you are the person that they want this with, So this person may be very codependent on their parents. They may be very close to their parents. I feel like this is a person that is very traditional. Um, we could be dealing with a mama's boy or a daddy's girl. This could be someone that's very that that relies very heavily on their parents. Okay, and um, they're a very giving person. But I feel like this person juggles you with their family, and uh, that kind of might annoy you a little bit, Aquarius. But ultimately, I mean, I feel like this person is really in it. That's what they want. They want, you know, the real deal here, okay? Now, the overall energy between you and your person, we have the Page of Cups. There is not a lot of romantic talk between you guys. Romance is dying between you and your person. And what's crossing this is the Ten of Shells, and that's family. That's family, Okay. So Aquarius, maybe, um, you know, your person's family is really getting involved a little bit too much, pushing towards marriage, pushing towards a deeper commitment, and you're smiling, saying, yeah, no, I want it, I'm going to marry her, or I'm going to marry him, uh, or whatnot, but it's not really the case. That's not how you feel, okay? And um, I feel like you've been thinking about whether or not you should speak your truth, and Aquarius, I think over the next couple of days, um, you're going to decide to go ahead and speak your truth, okay? Uh, we've got the, yeah, we've got the Five of Pentacles here and the, um, the Knight of Swords. So I feel like someone here might be getting left out in the cold. I feel like you're, you know, you're ready to go, Aquarius. We've got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. You're ready to run. I feel like, you know, you're a very free spirit, um, you're a free spirited person, Aquarius, and we may have someone here whose family is pushing too much on, on commitment, marriage, and you're just not ready for that yet, and it's going to cause a tower moment. Yeah. All right, Aquarius, so if this resonated, please be sure to like. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win, and if you would like to book me for a personal reading to get more clarity on the situation, my information is in the description box below. Okay, take care, guys.